The first scene features Pee Lou and Lu Shi Shi, twin siblings who attend the same school. Pee Lou is naughty and playful, whereas Lu Shi Shi appears to be very good at her studies. One day at school, their class teacher, Ms. Shu, reveals their grades and arranges their seats accordingly. Students with higher grades sit in the front, while those with lower grades sit in the back. After a while, the teacher announces that whichever student receives the highest grades in the upcoming test will receive the City Achievement Award and will be guaranteed admission to the top middle school. Later at home during dinner, the twins' mother, Jing, inquires about their day, and the little girl mentions that she was praised by her teacher. However, she also reveals that Pee Pee Lu was punished, and hearing this, Jing scolds him to be more like his twin sister. Meanwhile, their father, Kim, places a canned meat on the table and tells their family to enjoy it. As usual, Pee Pee Lu lunges towards it, but Jing, who's still angry at her irresponsible son, prohibits him from touching it. As a result, Lu Shi Shi gets hold of the can, which she decides to take to her room. When she opens it, she notices a glow, causing her to be surprised. Suddenly, five tiny people emerge from the can and inquire about Lu Shi Shi's identity. She introduces herself and asks about them, to which they respond that they have always been inside the can. Shortly after, Jing calls her, so she decides to show it to her. However, when Lu Shi Shi remembers how her mother used to throw away her pets, she hides the tiny people and lies that the can was empty. After a while, Lu Shi Shi returns to her room and begins sewing clothes for the tiny people. She also provides them with names based on their interests. One of them wishes to be an artist, so she names her Artist. The next wishes to be a diplomat, so she names him John. Another one wishes to learn, so she names him Doctor. The fourth one wants to protect people, so she names him Lieutenant. And the last one wishes to perform, so she names her Singer. Lu Shi Shi also provides them with a mini house in which they can stay. Before going to bed, Doctor expresses his desire to learn more, so Lu Shi Shi decides to take him to school. The following day, Lu Shi Shi hides Doctor in her hair and walks to school. During break time, her classmates Liang Guo and Li approach her. Li inquires about Pee Pee Lu's whereabouts, to which Lu Shi Shi responds that he skipped class. Li, being a teacher's snitch, goes to complain to Ms. Shu about the class bunk. At home, Pee Pee Lu enters Lu Shi Shi's room with his dog Holmes and begins searching the room. Unfortunately, Holmes notices the tiny people and starts barking. He then approaches the mini house and starts shaking it violently, causing the tiny people to fall in random directions. After holding on for some time, Lieutenant grabs his pin and pricks Holmes, prompting it to stop. When Pee Pee Lou notices blood on his dog, he rushes to get medicine. In the meantime, Jing arrives and hears Holmes barking. It turns out that Pee Pee Lou has been keeping the dog secretly, so he tries his best to stop his mother from checking inside. On the other hand, the tiny people also hear the conversation and decide to assist the dog escape. Shortly after, Singer and Lieutenant approach Holmes, whereas John and Artist open the window. The dog escapes in the nick of time before Jing finds out about him. Later, Lu Shi Shi learns about the incident and discovers that Holmes has taken Lieutenant. The same night, Lu Shi Shi and the tiny people sneak out the window to find Lieutenant, but they're apprehended by Pee Pee Lu. Left with no choice, Lu Shi Shi reveals everything about the tiny people and introduces him to them. A confused Pee Pee Lu then approaches the tiny house and thanks them for assisting Holmes in escaping. However, Lu Shi Shi expresses her rage at her brother for bringing Holmes into her room, resulting in a fight. Just when things start to escalate, Artist stops the siblings and suggests that they focus on finding Lieutenant and Holmes first. Luckily, Pee Pee Lu knows where Holmes usually stays. He takes them to the location, and Lu Shi Shi happily reunites with Lieutenant. Before departing, Lu Shi Shi informs Pee Pee Lu that Jing said he can keep Holmes if he gets a 90% on the exam. 
P.P. Lou believes that getting 90% is impossible, so Doctor decides to assist him in his exams. The next day, Doctor helps P.P. Lou with all of the exam answers, whereas Lu Shi Shi falls asleep in the examination hall. As a result, Lu Shi Shi receives a low grade and gets chastised by her mother. In particular, Jing is upset with her because her poor grades may result in her losing the City Achievement Award. Lu Shi Shi asks her parents if they will still love her despite her lack of good grades, to which her mother responds, no. Hearing this, she becomes sad and sobs inside her room. Meanwhile, Ms. Shu assigns Pee Pee Lu to resolve the exam questions because she doubts his ability. However, to her surprise, Pee Pee Lu answers all of the questions with the assistance of the doctor. As a result, he's regarded as the top student in the school, and his parents begin to love him more, making Lu Shi Shi unhappy. One day, Lu Shi Shi is sitting in the rain when her classmate Wang Zihu approaches her. Zihu gives Lu Shi Shi a sketch and encourages her to do well in her future exams. Upon returning home, Lu Shi Shi shows the sketch to the tiny people, who compliment Zihu's drawing abilities. But they're disappointed to learn that Zihu's painting supplies have been seized by Ms. Shu due to her poor grades. Hence, the tiny people decide to sneak into Ms. Shu's office and retrieve Zihu's painting supplies. The next day at school, Lu Shi Shi assists the small people in entering Ms. Shu's office through the window. They then split up and start searching for the painting supplies. After a while, Artis discovers the supplies and all of them manage to carry it to the window. Just then, Lu Shi Shi notices Ms. Shu's arrival and alerts the tiny people, who rush to get the painting supplies out. All of them manage to flee except for Artist, who hides behind a thermos. Fortunately, another teacher summons Ms. Shu, allowing Artist to flee. In the following scene, Lu Shi Shi cheerfully returns the painting supplies to Zi Hu. Lu Shi Shi also suggests that she practice for the art festival, so Zi Hu begins working with Artist. On the day of the festival, some guests from UNESCO arrive, but the principal doesn't allow students with poor grades to attend. Sad, Zi Hu decides to leave, but Lu Shi Shi grabs her painting and sprints towards the stage. She impresses the guests by communicating with them in different languages with the assistance of John. She also shows the guests Zi Hu's paintings, which they find amazing. But following the fest, Lu Shi Shi is instructed to sweep the floor as punishment for her behavior. Seeing this, the other students with low grades help her in sweeping. A few moments later, they hear the principal announce that anyone who doesn't score 90% in the upcoming exam will be barred from participating in any activities. This upsets Lu Shi Shi, so she decides to help her classmates with the help of the tiny people. After introducing the two parties, she devises a plan, claiming that she, with doctor's assistance, will finish the exam first and her answers will be copied by artist and singer. The answers will then be delivered to the rest of the students by John and the lieutenant. The next day, the teacher enters the classroom and instructs everyone to sit according to their registration numbers. Hearing this, Lu Shi Shi and the other students are concerned because it jeopardizes their plan. Just when all hope seemed to be fading, Pee Pee Lu notices the wires in the ceiling, prompting the tiny people to devise a new strategy. Following this, Lu Shi Shi quickly completes her exam and the tiny people copy her answers. They then scale the ceiling and distribute the answers to the others. Finally, they carry out their plan successfully, earning them the highest marks. However, their joy is short-lived as they're summoned to Ms. Xu's office. Ms. Xu and Director Chen confront the students and berate them for cheating. It turns out that Li had discovered one of the answer papers and informed Ms. Xu about it. Meanwhile, the teachers ask for the person who passed the answers, but as expected, none of them respond. This enrages Director Chen, and when he threatens to expel the culprit from school, Lu Shi Shi reluctantly steps forward and accepts responsibility. In the next scene, the little girl's parents are summoned to the school and informed of her shenanigans. Jing questions her daughter about why she did it, and the latter responds that the school discriminates against the students based on their grades. 
Hearing this, director Chen asks the parents to find a new school for Lu Shishi, but they request him to reconsider and somehow manage to convince him. After returning home, Jing continues to chastise her daughter. She also reveals that her father has sacrificed several significant opportunities because his current job is linked to her school, which allows her to attend. One day, Lu Shishi returns from school, and the tiny people tell her that they should assist the weak students in studying for their finals because the students, who previously cheated, must get 90% or else they'll be expelled. This time, Lu Shishi is enraged because she needs to study or else she'll be expelled too. She also tells them how proud her parents were prior to their arrival. Hearing this, the tiny people become sad, and they leave the house with their belongings. In the following scene, the tiny people are seen living at Holmes' house. One day, they instruct Pee Pee Lou to gather the students in order to organize a group study preparation for their final exams. Pee Pee Lou does as told, and Doctor assists the students in their preparations. Under his guidance, the students begin to study in groups and at home. Later, Lieutenant reminds the other tiny people where they came from. Soon, they start reminiscing about their village and decide to return after the student's final exam. As they're discussing, Lee suddenly shows up and captures them in a jar. She then takes them home and asks them to assist her in her studies. However, the tiny people refuse. The next day at school, Pee Pee Lou informs Lu Shi Shi of the tiny people's disappearance and decides to track them down. Lu Shi Shi tries to stop him because final exams will begin soon, but Pee Pee Lou believes that the safety of his friends is more important. On the other hand, Lee leaves the tiny people in an abandoned room in the school, but they manage to escape from their jar. Unfortunately, a rat begins chasing them, causing them to run here and there. Elsewhere, at the exam hall, Lu Shi Shi can't stop thinking about the tiny people, so she puts her pen down and walks out to find them. The tiny people are doing everything they can to fight the rat, but they're failing miserably. During the fight, the jar falls from the table, shattering it. Fortunately, Lu Shi Shi hears it and rushes to the room. After scaring the rat away, she breaks down in tears and apologizes to her friends. A few moments later, Lu Shi Shi is summoned to Ms. Shu's office. When Li returns to the abandoned room, she discovers that the tiny people have fled. She turns on the light to look for them, which causes a short circuit. Eventually, a fire breaks out, and Ms. Shu instructs the students to leave the building as soon as possible. The smoke begins to rise, making it difficult for everyone to breathe. Ms. Shu assists the students in exiting the building while the other teachers try to put out the fire. While escaping, a fire blocks the way of Lu Shi Shi and her friends. Ms. Shu decides to help them, but another teacher stops her because it's dangerous. With no way out, Lu Shi Shi leads her friends to the roof to get some open air. Upon reaching the roof, they scream for help, but the teachers are helpless. Now, with time running out and the fire approaching, the students begin crying in fear. Suddenly, the tiny people arrive in Pee Pee Lou's toy helicopter and provide them with rope. They tie one end of the rope to a metal handle, whereas Pee Pee Lou and the teachers hold on to the other end, allowing the students to slide down one by one. When it's Lu Shi Shi's turn, Lieutenant notices that the rope has caught fire. So he jumps out of the helicopter and lands on the rope, preventing it from breaking. Lu Shi Shi sobs as she witnesses the lieutenant's sacrifice. In the next scene, an unconscious lieutenant is rushed to the hospital for immediate surgery. However, his blood type turns out to be RH negative, which is very rare and no one has it. Just then, Ms. Shu arrives and declares that her blood type is RH negative. Meanwhile, Lu Shi Shi's parents realize that grades aren't everything and apologize to their daughter. Shortly after, the operation is successful and Lieutenant regains consciousness, much to the delight of everyone. In the final scene, we see Lu Shi Shi receiving a City Achievement Award and giving a short speech on stage about how everyone should bravely pursue their dreams. According to her, grades are important, but so are other qualities. As soon as she concludes the speech, 
everyone applauds her in admiration. The movie ends as the tiny people wave their final goodbyes to Lu Shi Shi before heading back to their world, creating an emotional moment.